Hello people of YouTube, this is Jolster109 and I am doing a video review of Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Crank Case. Crank Case is a dread. One of three. There is Crank Case, Crowbar, and Hatchet. They are all the same vehicle form in the movie, but as toys, for some odd reason, um, Crowbar is a is a police car which looks very sporty and then Hatchet is like a jet for the toys from from what I've seen on Transformers.com um, uh, I, don't, I don't know why they why they switched that up like that I would have liked it to have three of these but each being uh, a different mold like like with the twins they're all the same thing but like Skits and Mudflat they're both Chevy Sparks but different molds I, I would have liked that better with the dreads, because I mean, I mean, they're evil, they're Decepticons, and they're trucks. So, anyways, on to Crankcase. Let's go to his uh, bio. He is a Decepticon, in case you haven't noticed. Crankcase. Let me just read it from you from a distance. As an expert tracker and infiltrator, Crankcase serves Megatron from the shadows, unseen and never recognized. He watches the Autobots and reports their movements back to his master. He rarely engages in combat, but when he does, it is swift, terrible, and final. Alrighty. Mech Tech Weapon System. Blaster converts to Blade Claw Weapon. Chevy Suburban Mode. Yeah, hat, uh, Crankcase looks very cool with those uh, dreadlocks of his. In the movie, he looked better. Really did. I mean, you you guys see the see the dreadlocks um, flying in the air, and then that scissors type thing on his back. It looks much more deadlier. It looks better overall. And hold on a second. Let me rise my tripod. Actually, let me just back it up a little bit. And ah, there we go. ah no, don't fall. Over. Okay. Anyways. His uh, mech tech weapon, as you can see, is like a machine gun type thing that when you uh, press this back, becomes a blade. Unfortunately, it does not lock. This is the only thing it does. I don't know. I mean, really? Ugh. I, I know a lot of people don't like the mech tech weapons, and I'm one of them. I mean, it would have been better if it just came with a regular weapon that can store instead of, I don't know. It would have some, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, to show you what it looks like, if you don't have the figure, or, I don't know. Yeah. Um. I don't know. There, there's two ports on the roof. And two sirens, or two emergency lights. I don't know. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's 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 okay, but I don't know. And in case you haven't noticed, I don't I don't have this on on the uh, table. It's actually hanging from that uh 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 this green thing. I forget what the heck that was called. What is that? I forget. Anyways, okay, he rolls. Kind of, it works better on on uh, like carpet or something. I don't think it'll drag anything because it's pretty clear on there except for these Weber things. Now I guess you could kind of make like a zizzard up vehicle, but it doesn't work for me. Oh look, that, 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 look, that looks like. I mean, who would do that? Besides crankcase. Anyways, onto the transformation. Um, alright, wait, let me, before I get the treasure, <laughs> see, this, this is what I do, I always, like, go back and forth. I guess I've noticed there's two Decepticon symbols, I'm sorry, this is terrible. There's one right there, very nicely painted, and one over here, very nicely painted. I actually would have been kind of interesting to see one back here. Hmm. Uh, and actually, actually, I would have liked a little bit more paint on this, because it's just black. I mean, yeah, there's different shades of black. Like, this this is, um, regular black, and this is glossy black for the windows. But for the ones back here, it, it, it's basically the same molding. It looks like these are different pieces. Um, and the, the, the emergency lights, they look kind of cool. 
Oh, let me compare it to you. Here he is next to the first movie, Deluxe Barricade. Dang, I didn't actually realize how small this thing is. Do you see that? Wow, I didn't realize that myself. <laughs> Anyways, onto the transformation. What you want to do is take this this part right here. The, the Yeah, just take this like that. And then bring it like that. There you can see the legs. What I want to do here is bring this down, fold these out, and those will become his toes. After this, bring down the legs. You want to be careful here because they're really... The legs are really annoying. Really annoying. Actually, the entire figure is annoying. I don't know. Maybe it's just mine. Right here, you want to push in the wheels and just bring them forward. Like that. And then take the this and bring it forward or back, whatever. There you go. I have the, the feet pretty much done, but the legs are not entirely complete. You want to take these zizzard things and just bring them out like that. Let me bring that up a little bit. <clears throat> Um, then you want to, let's see, you want to take, you want to take it from underneath here and bring it open like that. Just leave it like that for now, if not, because then you start breaking things. Then, bring the arms out, very slowly, well, for mine anyways, because I actually messed around with this, especially with the dread, with the dreadlocks, and uh, one of them is about to fall off, so if they fall off, blame me, it's not the, I, I don't know. Then open up the hands like that. Okay, let's see. Then bring the down the chest, bring his head forward. Actually, from right here, you want to put this back right there, and then just I'm running at that the way you want. But don't don't do anything too much with it right now. Then bring up the arms. And then situate them. Okay. And then bring the wheels back. Okay, then bring the chest back again. And then there's two pegs and two holes, and you have to just push it nicely. Then you want to untie the dreads and bring down his head. And there you go. There's pretty much his upper torso done. Now, for instructions, it says to twist these around. I guess you can do that, but I kind of like it better like this. I don't know. I guess it's just personal preference, but I like to have it like that. <clears throat> then, bring, bring his waist forward. Like that. Just bring it forward. Untab the legs, then twist them around. And... There you have Transformers DOTM crankcase in his robot mode. And I have to say, I like the look of the figure. I really do. It looks really cool. It looks really cool, especially in the head. I mean, look at that. He's got like, I don't know, it looks really evil and nasty and like, ugh. It works for this figure. It really does. It looks awesome. Especially the gold on the, on the dreadlocks. Like I said, it, lo it looked better in the movie, but I mean, everything looks better in the movies. Everything, every, I mean, the, I, like, I really like the design, it, which really messes it up for me, how, how poor quality it has. Especially those blades on this back. I mean, look at that. Even the feet. Look at that. That looks wicked. This is really this is a really nice figure. It really is. It just it just kind of it just kind of disappoint me how how loose he is. Cause I mean, especially in the legs, he can't really stand up that well. I don't know if you, see. It's very loose, very loose. I I I've heard how people can tighten up ball joints with like um, nail polish or something. But I mean I don't know. I haven't tried it at all but I just I, I don't know I'll see what I can do 
But anyways, on to Crankcase. Let me give you a 360 of his robot. This is a really, really nice t toy design. Toy-wise. But in the movie, I, like I said, it looks better. I'll keep saying it. It looks better in the movie. And now, with his um, uh, mech tech weapon, you can plug it into any port here. It'll make it look like he's holding a gun. But it also kind of adds weight, which really doesn't help much, because especially how loose his arms are. If you try to go like this, like he's pointing, it'll stay there for a little bit. Then after a while, it starts like... Hold on, let me see if it does it. Actually, no, I don't think it does. At least right now it doesn't. But right as some as some parts, see right right there, it, it just falls right back down. I got this a few weeks ago. I, I mean, and then it kind of disappointed me. And of course, you can still do the blades, which I don't care for. I mean, the blades look awesome, but if there was something to lock it, then I would have liked it more. But nah. These. I don't know, I'll just leave it like that. Or, I don't know. What looks better? Whatever. I'll just... Okay. Yeah, I linked this off. Let me show you the articulation for this guy. Articulation for a crankcase. His head can go like this. I don't know. I'm not going to try 360. <laughs> I'm not going to try it. You can look up a little bit. You can't look down. But when, once you do that, it's really part of the transformation. It starts bringing up the backpack back there. Um... The arms go uh, out like that. It's got this extra joint here, but that's part of the transformation. Uh, arms go all the way around. Um, bends at the elbow, turns at the bicep. Um, legs go forward, back, out. Bends at two joints in the knee. I don't really know that. It's like it's like a joint up here. And then a joint at the foot. I don't know. Turns at the um, thigh. And then his, f I mean, his feet are all wacky. It's like this. I don't, I don't know if you would call that articulation. But, yeah, it's kind of decent. No waste articulation. Of course. Let me see if I can. Ah, see, I mean, the joints are very loose. For this guy. Yeah, I mean that looks really creepy. It's like imagine seeing that in your nightmares. <laughs> Dang. <clears throat> uh I'll just put this right there for now. And to give you a comparison. Yep. This is barricade. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh and, and, and to show off the, the deluxe packaging, if you haven't seen it already. Uh Kind of messed up right there. Transformers Dark of the Moon. It has the moon right here in the background. So it's kind of nice. I like it. And then it kind of mimics how you're crashing to Earth. Actually, that, that's the US. That's the US. That's America. There's Florida. There's California. All the other states. Uh, Maine. I'm over here somewhere. I'm in Maryland. Okay, anyways, let's put that back the way it was. Okay, one of these days I'll do an unboxing. Because that, that, that's actually, I wish I wish I had the camera at the time. Okay, anyways, uh, I guess I'll leave it here and then I'll show you the transformation next part. Stay tuned.